Listen, we all live in an amazingly beautiful and diverse country, but I have a favorite place to live, and today I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give you the 10 things that East Tennessee has to offer and makes it a great place to live, and we're going to get started. Right What's up and welcome back to All Things Tennessee with me, Ben Barreto, your local real estate pro and relocation expert for East Tennessee. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 things that East Tennessee has to offer and makes it a great place to live. So again, we have beautiful land across the United States with diverse people, rich cultures, and there are few places that offer the kind of beauty and serenity and the smiles that you get in East Tennessee though. I want to point out some of the best things about East Tennessee that make it a great place to live for just about anybody. And what we're going to start with is by talking about one of the most obvious reasons that East Tennessee is a great place to live and that's the Great Smoky Mountain. The Appalachians run from southern New York all the way down to northern Mississippi and they're over 480 million years old. It's it's believed a, a pretty, pretty uh, solid fact actually that at one point the Appalachian Mountain was as high as the Alps or the Rockies, but over a million years they have been eroded to the lower mountain range that they are today, full of forests and diverse life. The range is again diverse and it's also a route for marathon hikers from around the world. But the section in East Tennessee is a bit more special than the rest, with various peaks that you can see fogs and clouds coverage that, and, and that intertwine with the peak sticking up out of it. I don't know how to say it, but it's just breathtaking. And it offers an easy getaway for anyone that lives in the area for the day or for the weekend. It's free to visit, it's a short drive regardless of where you live, and it's a great place for camping, hiking, fishing, relaxing, or just you know getting out and enjoying watching the wildlife. Alright, the second thing that's great about East Tennessee is Knoxville's Market Square. Knoxville has the perfect market square that offers both a small town and urban feel to it. You can shop at the farmer's market, you can try out different culinary options in the area, you can go on a shopping spree in just a couple hours, you can enjoy the live music that we have throughout the year, as well as festivals like the International Biscuit Festival or the Hot Wings Festival. Did I mention the music and plays in the in the Market Square and the Farmer's Market? It's a great gathering space and it's a must visit for anyone visiting or living in the area and you can just go on a regular basis. The next thing that makes East Tennessee great are the lakes. We have over 17 lakes and rivers in and around Knoxville that provide anyone that desire to pursue an active life on the water that opportunity without having to live on the ocean and pay ocean prices. Not all the lakes are natural, but they are all pretty and surrounded by picturesque hills or mountains, and they're filled with fish, which for a lot of people equals fun. Now some of the lakes stand out, like Norris Lake, which in my opinion is the most attractive lake in the area. It's one of the biggest. Then you got Cherokee Lake near Clinch Mountain located east of Knoxville. Melton Lake that borders Anderson County near Frozen Head State Park. And finally, but not the last one of course, Watts Bar Lake near Obed Wild which borders Meigs, Ray, Rowan, and Loudoun counties. Speaking of lakes, another great reason to live in East Tennessee is world-class fishing. East Tennessee offers some of the most diverse fishing in the southeastern United States with again 15 lakes and countless rivers and streams within a two hour drive from Knoxville. There is a body of water where your favorite game fish swims and you'll find it in this area whether you're chasing trout in the Smoky Mountains or hunting for bass in, uh, in the grass on Lake Chickamauga or your East Tennessee uh, some other East Tennessee fish you're not going to be disappointed. The views are breathtaking the wildlife is abundant. You can experience it all in just a day or the weekend. Anglers frequent this area for the following game. Uh, and we have tons of tournaments in this area over the bass, the crappie, catfish, striper, trout, muskie, walleye, and panfish. Another great thing about East Tennessee is the national and state parks. One of the main reasons many people move to Knoxville from other places is so that they can take advantage of the breathtaking outdoors that East Tennessee offers. Living in Knoxville means access 
to 4,500 acres of green open spaces that are all just a short drive and to many of the state and national parks in East Tennessee. These are just a few of my favorite places to visit. Seven Islands State Birding Park, Norris Dam State Park, Big Ridge State Park, Cherokee National Forest, Cumberland Gap National Historic Park, and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Big South Fork, Chickamauga and Chattanooga, and of course, many, many more. Another great and beautiful thing about life in East Tennessee are the sunflower fields. While we are fortunate enough to enjoy stunning mountain views and year-long spring and summer, they also bring another breathtaking landscape to life, and that's expansive fields of golden sunflowers that you can just go frolic in all day. With the nostalgic beauty of a classic country painting, it's no wonder that East Tennessee sunflowers fields are one of the hottest spots for family portraits, selfies, landscape photography, you know, in, in the region. You need to add Forks of the River Wildlife Area to your to-do list this year. Another great thing about East Tennessee is you pick farms. From delicious berries to crispy broccoli, our local you pick farms offer a wide variety of kid-friendly vegetables a trip to the farm also helps kids learn about where their food comes from and teaches them a little bit about hard work of farming. Find your local farms in Knoxville, Chattanooga, and in the Tri-Cities. Of course, there's also the apple farms. We are blessed with long apple picking season here in East Tennessee. Varying species of apples continue to ripen from July all the way through early November. Many of our East Tennessee apple orchards also boast fresh baked goods, farm stores, restaurants, and family fun activities. And don't forget my favorite, the pumpkin patches. Another pick your own activity for the fall is a trip to the pumpkin patch. Most of our local farms offer tons of family fun activities, including playgrounds, hay rides, corn mazes, and more. Listen, before I give you the last three things that Tennessee has to offer, make sure to check out last week's video where I give you some tangible and real world tips to making moving out of state a hell of a lot easier. And you can watch that by clicking here or following the link in the description. And of course, while you're here, please take a second and like and subscribe. That would be great. Awesome sauce. And finally, if you need a realtor, if you're thinking about moving to the area, if you got questions about buying, selling a home, make sure to give me a call. Contact information is right here. It's also in the description. Yeah, you'll find it. The next thing that makes East Tennessee great are the scenic fall drives. The stunning rainbow of fall colors that blanket over the mountains each year brings tons of tourists from all over the United States who are just dying to catch a glimpse of the area that could be your home. Thankfully, when you live as a local, you don't have to drive very far. You can easily find a guide to most of the, the some of the most breathtaking fall drive details and all the best places to see fall colors, including some of the less touristy driving routes. But the best thing about East Tennessee is you don't have to go that far to find beautiful scenic views of fall colors. You're more than likely can just walk out the back door. And of course, after fall brings us to skiing and snow tubing in the winter. From the northern tip to the southernmost edge, there are a ton of great skiing and snow tubing options in and around East Tennessee. With seven different day trip options, you will find the perfect one for you. And then there's Christmas lights and Christmas activity in East Tennessee. One of the most iconic and inexpensive ways to have fun in December is just going on a driving tour of some of the area's most spectacular light displays. Nothing ignites the holiday spirit quite like looking at festive sparkles of Christmas cheer hanging over houses or in neighborhoods. Downtown Knoxville and most of the other cities around Knoxville have Christmas or they go all out for Christmas and they're worth going to see. From Knoxville to Sevierville, from Loudoun County to Farragut. We don't get a lot of snow here, but when we do, it's worth going and viewing the majestic views and seeing those Christmas lights. Not to mention you got sledding, snowman, hot chocolate, and more. As you can see, East Tennessee is a great place to live for many reasons, and I barely scratched the surface. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm glad you stopped by, and as always, have a great day, and have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.